In this video, I'll teach you how to make an infinite background for your product renders in Blender 3.5 and the new viewport compositor. With the product in the scene, let's activate the render preview, go to Film and activate Transparent Background. I'm going to split this window and change to the compositor. Let's activate Use Notes. Make some space between the nodes and add an alpha over node. Connect it here and change this connection to the second slot. Now to activate the viewport compositor, press on camera. We can already see the background but without shadows. It doesn't look very good, right? Let's add a plane to use it as a floor. Increase its size. As you can see, there is a difference between the color of the floor and the color of the background. To fix this, with the floor selected, go to Visibility and activate Shadow Catcher. With this, we turn off the visibility of the floor just leaving the shadows. If we leave the camera, we see our background disappear. Go here and press on Always and the viewport compositor will be always active. And as you can see, we have an infinite background. But we are not done here. Go to the Alpha Over node and let's change the color. We can select any color we want for the background, but the color is not reflected on the can. To fix this, select the floor, I'll change the name of this object, go to the Material tab and create a new material. Drag the background color to the material, base color, and now we can see the reflection of the color. I'll decrease this saturation a little bit, and this will be the result. For Amazon Product Renders, we just need to change the color to white. Remember to change the color also in the floor material. My new course about 3D product animations in Blender is available in Skillshare. You can also find all my courses on my Gumroad page, the link in the description of this video. I'll see you on the next one.